One of the terrific things about the community house is how it brings people together, all sorts, shapes, sizes, ages, nationalities, and it seems that everybody grows from that and everybody learns and enjoys and has fun. Fun is one of the things that we want to do here as well as learn. of the community house is to provide a facility in Devonport which allows people to come together whether it be for programs, events or just sharing in the community. So for some people who are new to the area you know it's quite hard to feel um, a, a sense of belonging and connection so that's how we can help. So I think this is definitely something that Wendy Bailey first had in mind when she started the community house 30 years ago up at Kerr Street. I was brought up in England in a small village and the village hall played a really prominent part in, in the life of the village. My aim was to develop a community facility for all ages of people and uh, a few of us started, uh, had lots of meetings around my kitchen table. From then we had public meetings and door-to-door -door canvassing for about two years. Good things like the community house don't come for nothing and it's taken a huge amount of uh, work and resources from many people over many years and it's people that have made it and continue to make it so successful. The role of the community house really is to provide a place where people can come and participate in different programs. We have lots of programs for children, things like soccer for tots. And lots of the classes actually are, are more than just a class, they create a community to which people belong. Actually we've just had a parenting course not long ago and one of those people that attended came and told me thank you not only for running the parenting course but that actually made a really good friend who's just across the street and you know so it's those connections that you can't put a value on that are being made by people who attend programs and, and events here. The knitting group is a fantastic example of that. Well, the Piggy Squares project has started from a history from the 1930s where the Piggy Squares were knitted during the, the Depression in Wellington and it became a national project where children from all over New Zealand sent in Piggy Squares to Wellington and they were sewn up in those days into blankets and given to the poor and the needy. And it's just followed on from that point where I think today we still have people who are wanting and helping other people through the community to help within our own community here in, in Devonport. Uh, and also along with that is that last winter a young woman who's a coordinator for Plunkett uh, came and made a plea to a group of community um, people for blankets because young Plunkett mums were wrapping their babies in tea towels. You know, they didn't have any nice warm woolly blankets. So all of a sudden there became a purpose. I think the reason I became involved and especially with Lynn, um, Devonport's my community and this is where I've lived for 20 plus years and I'm very much, I love being involved in the community and helping the community. One thing that comes particularly to my mind is a young woman who had had a stroke. She ended up with a paralysed right arm and and a lot of cognitive language problems and the tenaciousness of her was you know an amazing thing to watch because she struggled initially with the um, with the actual physical act of the knitting but what we did also see and what she also found herself was huge benefits in her language skills being improved just by the fact that here was a group of people that she could sit around and talk to. It's, it's assisted her rehabilitation enormously. Uh, if you'd seen her first square that she knitted, that it really looked quite ragged, whereas now she's knitting beautiful squares. It's, it's amazing to have seen. 
we're, we're really lucky here in that we have a number of volunteers too that come and, and add some life and vibrancy to the house and, and do some fantastic work for us. Friends like uh, Christina and Kirsten who often come on a Monday and do a bit of voluntary work for us and then love to have some time up in the children's art space painting and, and creating some beautiful artwork for us to use too. I love that combination. That's great. How's your paintbrush? You like that one, do you? Do you want a wider one? So what have you got? You're doing. Uh -huh, fine, you're doing red, are you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the red one then. And this can be. This will be a little bit wider for you. Yeah. Look, one great addition if you feel like. We could probably do a, a DVD night down here. DVD night, yeah. And I could have. How would I see me dancer? And have a dancer. Have you dancing? Yes. Wow. <laughs> hey, maybe we could invite all those dancers from Touch Compass. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Maybe they could do a concert for us down here. Yeah, yeah. what do you think? I reckon we're, we're, Devonport's ready for that. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice part of being at the community house, is that the arts depot is next door, and we get to do that stuff. Mm. 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 And the nicest part is being able to come here, like... I work here, so even yeah, it's nice. yeah. Well, you feel like what do you, what do you feel inside? But happy, know, happy, more yeah. settled than I was, mm. and like people are nicer here, and they don't mind if you ask anything. All oh, right. So you feel that there's more warmth. Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah. Oh, sorry. And it's mm. fun here. I like it here. Yeah. I'm happy here. <laughs> 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 we treat you all right. You just like the chocolate biscuits that we keep. <laughs> Another one of the long-standing uh, groups that we have running through the Devonport Community House is the Devonport Walkers. Well, I started it um, what, 26 years ago, and slowly it grew, and uh, we got 10, and then now we've got over 100 and 105. Five isn't now yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Yes. People that have come from out of town and living in Devonport, one of the first things they do, they've joined the walker, walking group. And they said it's one way of, they've met friends and lifelong friends through it. Oh, they know people, so they're more at home hmm. by knowing them. No, it's, it's good like that. It's very, if anyone's really sick, uh, we organise, you know, awesome food for them and, and visit them and that so it's quite a, a caring group too if anyone needs a ride to the hospital or somewhere there's always somebody if, if anyone turns uh, 40 uh, uh, 70 or 80 we give them a $20 voucher and we go on a Sunday night to um, somebody's house and we take a plate of finger food and a bottle of uh, white wine. It's got to be white wine because red wine, Carpets. we don't want them to spill red wine on <laughs> The community house is there for the community as it represents and they certainly do represent it well you know, by getting around everybody, helping out and all. It's all about moving through to the next generation, isn't it? Through support and love. <laughs> you know, it is. It's all about actually a community growing. And, and that's what it is. It takes a village, they say, to grow a child. Yeah. I mean, what I really love about the job, what, you know, sort of lights my fire is the fact that. Um, you know, there are, for some people, we are a real connection for them, you know, we, we help create a real sense of belonging in the community. When I go to the community house now, it gives me huge pleasure to see all the kids' pictures around, all the, the activity, the noise, the, the humour, all sorts of different activities and all sorts of people enjoying things and it's chocker and vibrant and it evolves, it evolves with what the community wants. It's exciting.